Now, let's look at the difference between odds and probability. Odds and probability are often confused by the beginners. And most seem to think that they are the same thing, but actually they are not. They are closely related, but they are very different. Probability is a real number between 0 and 1, where 0 represents 0%. There is no chance of that event to happen, and 1 represents 100%. That is, the match, the game, or the event will happen. Odds, on the other hand, are used to express the ratio of the probability of the event happening against the probability of it not happening. It sounds a bit confused if we put it like that, but let's look at a simple example to make it much more clearer. Assuming an honest coin, when flipping the coin, the probability of it coming up heads or tail is exactly 50-50. And these are the only two outcomes possible. It means we have a 1 in 2 chance of getting the result that we want. When expressing this in odds, we will get 1 over 1. To roll a 6 on a 6-sided dice, assuming the dice is honest, giving us a probability of 16.66%. This is because the dice has 6 sides and 100 divided by 6 equals 16.66. In the other words, we have a 1 in 6 chance of rolling the number we want. When express it as odd, this is 5 over 1. Now let's look at what is value betting. The key to successful betting is in finding value situation. A value situation is where the odds on offer from a bookmaker reflect a probability that is less to the actual probability of the outcome happening. For an example, when a toast of a coin, there are two possible outcomes. The coin either lands on head or it lands on tail. The probability of the coin landing on either head or tail is even, 50% each way. Using the probability to calculate the odds will give us a decimal price of 2 for head and 2 for tail. Bookmaker A is offering odds of 1.9 on head, while Bookmaker B is offering odds of 2.1. Let's say we want to bet on the coin landing hit. Which one of these bookmakers is offering value? So we can calculate the value this way. Probability multiplied by the decimal odds and minus 100%. So at bookmaker A, he is offering us 1.9. Let's calculate the value. So we're going to use 50% multiplied by 1.9 and minus 100%. And the answer is minus 5%. At minus 5%, bookmaker A is offering us less than the true value. This is not a bet we would want to take. It is not a value situation and it is not in a positive value. So let's look at bookmaker B. It's offering us 2.1. Let's calculate the value. 50% multiplied by 2.10 and minus 100%. And the answer is 5%. So bookmaker B is offering us 5% value to bet on heads in a coin toast. It is indeed a good value opportunity. Let's look at what is the bookmaker's advantage. Unfortunately, here is the bad news. No bookmaker is going to offer you a value situation such as the coin toast. If they did, they will go out of business very, very fast. In fact, bookmakers never intend to offer value situation at all. They always intend to offer odds that are less than the value. 
the odds that a bookmaker gives should based on their calculation of probability of the games. Therefore, the odds that they give might be lesser so that they could earn no matter what is the result of the match. For example, a real-life bookmaker will offer odds on a coin toss in the range of 1.9 for heads and 1.9 for tail. Let's say they receive $100 worth of bets on heads and $100 worth of bets on tail, accepting a total of $200 worth of bets in all. Now, let's say the heads wins. The bookmaker pay out the odds of 1.9 for the $100 worth of bets on heads, essentially paying out 190 but they accepted a $200 worth of bets. Yes, they keep the $10 for themselves, and this is popularly known as the commission, but commonly also referred to as the juice. This is essentially how a bookmaker makes their money by not offering the full value odds. For now, let's look at a more realistic example of calculating value. A football match, let's say that Manchester United are playing with odds of 2.5 to win. The odds of 2.5 on offer imply a probability of Manchester United winning at 40%. Now, let's say we have done our homework and have calculated our own probability of Man United winning at 50%. So let's calculate the value. 50% multiplied by 2.5 minus 100% equals to 25%. Great! If our estimated probability of a MU win is accurate, we have identified a very good positive value situation. On the other hand, if our assessed probability were less than the bookmaker odds, Implied probability of 40%, the odds of 2.0 will not represent value at all. How to find the full value odds? So, if bookmakers are not looking to offer full value odds, then how do we find the value situations? Now, this is very, very, very important. Being a successful better is in understanding the difference between a team's chances of winning and the chances and the chances of the team winning in comparison to the betting odds on offer. Sometimes it takes seeing it with our own eyes. Think of all those times when there was a major upset. You will often think to yourself, who will have bet on that team to win that? Understanding value and finding value bets is the key to long-term betting success. To an experienced better, it might seem like common sense. But for someone new to betting, making the shift from sport fan to serious better with an understanding of betting value can be a very difficult task. It is not easy to feel comfortable betting hard-earned money on a team that absolutely no one thinks that they have a chance to win. But to become a successful sport bettors require just this, finding value bets and consistently backing them, no matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel, is what makes a successful sports better. Let's consider a coin toss. When tossing a coin, there is a 50% chance that it will land on heads. Let's say that a bookmaker is offering odds of 2.1 for the coin to land on heads. This is a value bet. Why? This is how we calculate a value bet. I think on the coin to land on heads at odds of 2.0 is a value bet. Betting on sports, however, is a little bit trickier. Unlike a coin toss, we do not know the exact probability for a given outcome. We may give our best to estimate on who may win in the upcoming Premier League match between West Brom or Manchester City. But it can only ever be our best estimate. 
and this is the task of a successful spot betting. A successful spot bettors find value bets by estimating the likelihood of given outcomes better than a bookmaker does.